One of the most commonly asked questions I get is how can I be better at reading greens? It's not simple. I always say time. You need to spend time on a putting green learning how to read greens. And here's what happens. If I hit some, have some balls here on the putting green, what I like to do is I get all my senses are alive. I've got my eyes working. As a matter of fact, when I hit a shot onto the green, I'm immediately looking at my surroundings. That's the high side, this is the low side. Most of the good reading comes from underneath the hole. That way, you can see what's coming towards you and feel it with your feet. Tiger Woods always said, I like to feel where I am with, with my feet. What's uphill, what's downhill. I really like to notice grain. What, what's the grain doing? And especially on Bermuda grasses, you can see the direction that grass is growing. It's growing this way. That's gonna help the ball to break more or be faster if you're going down the grain. I like to get in the middle between the ball and the hole and get a sense for the slope and the speed that I'm gonna need. Is it uphill or is it downhill? So I've got all my senses alive here. I trust the read mostly from behind the, hole, behind the golf ball. I know this ball is gonna break slightly right to left. I've been a big proponent of using a line to putt with on the golf ball. So once I've made my read, I'm going to put this line down and I'm going to be very precise and exact where I want this line to be. I know this putt's going to break slightly right to left. For a demonstration, I'll put my start line out here. So that means halfway to the hole, the apex of the putt, the ball should be slightly inside that start line. And then I'm going to go through my routine visualizing the extension of that line into the cup. This is a really big part of the stroke now that you trust everything you've done and keep a good flowing routine. Of course we're not playing billiards and I misread it. It didn't break as much to the left as I liked but it started on my start line if I were going to teach somebody, if I had a lesson to give, I think one of the most important things to do to help somebody to read greens is to find a straight putt. I like to say, let's find a 10 footer where the ball's dead straight. That allows an uphill if you can. So we would find a hole, let's use this one for an example, and find a place underneath the hole, so this is back up the hill, and challenge yourself to find a straight putt. And and hit your putt and see how you do. Once you've found straight, then you can move over to the right and what's going to happen should break more to the left. If you move to the left towards 7 o'clock, it should move more towards the right. Practice reading from 10 feet straight up the hill and you'll get better at all your putts and all your reads. But now I know I can read a straight green. So anytime you get on a practice putting green or in a practice round out on a course, look for straight. If you can find straight, it'll be easier to read the greens. When you get above the hole, when I come over to this side, the high point of the hole, and I can find straight from downhill and move slightly off that straight line, I know these are going to be the fastest putts and the most break from 1030 and from 130. Lots of breaks. So practice those around the clock putts and you'll become a better green reader.